Hey, welcome to my channel. My name is Sarah. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. Today, I'm going to be recreating AOC, Alexander Ocasio-Cortez's skincare and makeup look. So whether or not you like her or her politics, you cannot deny that one, she is gorgeous, and two, that she is very well known for her signature red lip. So back in August, she did a video with Vogue on YouTube where she went through each step of her skincare and makeup routine. And I'm going to be recreating that to the best of my ability today. So I'm going to jump right into it, but if you could give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel if you wanna see more beauty and lifestyle videos like this, and let's move on. So the first two steps of her skincare routine, I actually will not be doing because I don't have these products. She first uses a toner and then she goes in with a vitamin C serum. I don't use a toner anymore unless you consider the Paula's Choice BHA liquid to be a toner of sorts. And I also do not use vitamin C oil, but instead of vitamin C oil, each morning I use the Ordinary Niacinamide Serum. And after that, she goes in with a moisturizer. So she, she didn't use a cleanser, but with my skin type, I need to use a cleanser morning and night. So I use the CeraVe Foaming Facial Cleanser. And then for moisturizer, I use the Trader Joe's Enrich Moisturizing Face Lotion. This is actually my second bottle. I got this because it was super cheap at Trader Joe's and I really like it. It's fragrance free. It's not greasy. It is very light but moisturizing on the skin. It has SPF 15 in it, but I like to add on more protection since I am fair skin and I just don't think 15 SPF is enough to wear on my face all day. After her moisturizer, she also goes in with a sunscreen. So I'm going to be using my Ulta Beauty SPF 30 broad spectrum sunscreen. This is tinted. I think she says this in her video, but she highlights the importance of sunscreen for everyone because no one is exempt from sun damage to their skin, no matter if you are light, dark, if you wear makeup. For foundation, she used the NARS Tinted Moisturizer, but I don't have any tinted moisturizers. I typically go for things that are more full coverage because I deal with redness and acne, but the lightest foundation I have is this from Shop Miss A, AOA Studios Satin Buildable Foundation. This can be built up to be decently higher coverage, but it can also be very light on the skin. almost out of this foundation and I really love it and it's like two dollars if you haven't checked out the foundations on shop miss a you definitely need to down on my neck I have a lot of redness going on so I'm actually gonna go in with a second layer she doesn't need as high of coverage but I do she then blends it out with a beauty sponge she then goes in with a color corrector that she mainly focuses underneath her eyes and it's in a pot. I think it may have said Becca Cosmetics. I have this LA Colors Conceal and Correct. I don't really often color correct. I used to, especially with the green color corrector, but I found that it just wasn't doing enough to warrant me buying it and spending the time to put on that before concealer. And she applies it with her fingers, so I'm gonna do that. I'm not sure what kind of color corrector she's using because it looks basically like concealer. I'm using a peach colored one. Just for the sake of it, I'm also going to use this green color corrector. This is the LA Girl Pro Conceal. It's been a while since I've used this. I forgot how a little bit goes a very long way. Oh my gosh. I look insane. Typically, I would do color corrector before even foundation, especially since I have redness and I, if I use the green, it's kind of hard to cover it up just with concealer. But I'm trying to just blend it out as best as I can and then put some concealer over it. And then if I need to, I will apply more foundation. <laughs> oh my gosh, I, geez. Okay, now I look like a Halloween character. I'm gonna be using two different concealers for underneath my eyes. I'm gonna use the Essence Camouflage Matte and Conceal. This is in shade Light Ivory. Hopefully this is enough to cover the color correct. This is kind of like the shape that she did and then she put like little 
dots on that side. And then also for her concealer, she blends it out with her fingers. And a little bit more just to make sure you don't see any of that color correct. She said she notices a difference when she pats her concealer out with her fingers because of the warmth. And I've heard a lot of other people say that. I typically use just like a sponge or a brush because it's quicker for me because I don't have to wipe off the concealer afterwards. But it does look kind of nice. Okay, now we're going to cover up this green because, yikes. Hopefully that's enough. Oh, and this is the Flower Beauty Light Illusion Full Coverage Concealer. I don't know if I would exactly say it's full coverage, but it's a little bit darker than the other concealers, so that's what I'm using down on my face. But as you can see, the green is still coming through, so I think I'm going to put the other concealer on and see if that helps us out so I don't look so green. I'm sorry, AOC. Shouldn't have done the green. I go in with the sponge and try and blend it out because now that's showing up as lighter. Yeah, at least for the green color correct, I definitely should have done that before a foundation. So I'm actually going to go over it with a little bit of foundation. Try and get it to look a little bit normal. Okay, I think it looks better, but I'm hoping once I apply everything else, it'll just kind of look a little bit more normal. She then goes in with the Fenty Beauty Contour Stick. I generally don't contour like ever. I will apply bronzer to warm up my face, but I'm just not huge into contouring. It's just not a step that I really care to add into my routine. But I do have one that I got also from Shop Miss A. This is the AOA Sculpt Fix. It's a contour stick and I can't, ah, and shade nude. It's, I think, just the lightest one they have. She also suggested starting it a little bit higher because when you blend it out, it goes down a little bit. I think she put some... Don't on her jawline. Her thing for contouring is she's not trying to make her face look entirely different, just accentuate the curves that she already has on her face. Same with her nose. She just goes based on the normal lines that there are. I look really ghostly. <laughs> oh, and this is the e.l.f. foundation blurring brush that I'm using. Another reason why I don't really contour that often is because I'm typically putting powder on my face. And with a contour stick, I would have to do that before the powder. It wouldn't really set well on top of the powder. And that wouldn't, just wouldn't really work out. There are also powder contours, but like I said, I just stick to bronzing. Do I even look different? Oh, I guess. Maybe. The next thing she adds is a liquid blush called Cloud Paint. I don't actually own any liquid blushes because I prefer a powder or a stick blush. So I'm going to be using this Milk Makeup Lip and Cheek. I think I got this from Ipsy. It's just like a blush stick. Take some on my finger and just pat that on. Hopefully that makes me look a little bit more alive. A little bit less ghostly. I'm not wearing self-tanner right now, so got my very natural pale skin going. The next step is brows. I'm actually going to be trying out a new product today. This is from Shop Miss A, the AOA brand. Again, I just happen to be using all of their products today, and this is their new Slim Brow Eye Pe Brow Pencil. Now, AOC has very naturally beautiful, thick brows. I kind of don't. She says she only really fills it in at the end, but I think I'm going to need to fill mine in a little bit more to actually match what hers look like. Her brows also look very natural. I typically go more for like a sculpted look just because that's easier for me, but I'm gonna try to maintain just like a natural brow look if I can. Okay, I think I'm gonna stick with that. I did my best to fill them in, but still make it look very natural. When I'm typically when I'm doing my eyebrows just the way I normally do it, I kind of draw an outline first and then fill in. But to make it look more natural, I'm just going in strokes, so to kind of mimic the hair strokes, so I don't make it look too defined. Okay, I think I'm gonna leave it at that. They're definitely not matching, but we're going with it. I actually really like this eyebrow pencil. It's a little bit stiffer than what I typically go for, but I actually really like that it's stiffer. She next goes in with a highlighter from a highlighting palette. I don't have a palette, but I chose the most natural highlighter that I have because she's really not someone that wears like that beaming highlight that you see from across the room. It's just 
barely there. So this is the Space Case Seen From Space Highlighter. She also uses a fan brush to apply her highlighter. So I'm gonna do that today. Just apply it very, very lightly. Just so we have a little bit of highlight, but nothing too noticeable. Try and also get it a little bit under the brow bone. I think that's very natural looking. Next is eyeshadow, and she only uses two eyeshadow colors to go for that more natural look. So I pulled out a palette that I haven't used in a long time. It's the Naked 2 Urban Decay Basics. It's the mini one. And she uses warmer tones, but I have fair skin, so I thought that cooler tones would look better. So she just takes a light color and sweeps it over her eyelid. And then kind of right above the crease, she goes in with a slightly darker color. So I'm going to start with this shade, Stark. It's just like a little bit darker than my skin tone. I'm now going to go in with Frisk as my darker shade and put that just above the brow bone just to add some definition. She's talking while she's applying her eyeshadow, so she doesn't actually show the shade that she uses, so I assume she used two. She may have used three, so I'm just going to take a tiny bit of the next shade up cover, just like a real little bit, and put that up there as well. She then applies eyeliner. She, it looks like she's using a brown eyeliner and she kind of starts at the middle of her eye and comes out and draws like the tiniest little wing. She doesn't do it on the inner part of her eye. So I have this Endless Silky Eye Pen that is brown by Pixie, and she doesn't make it too defined of a line. It's not like she's doing winged eyeliner. It's just like a little bit of shading. Okay, I think that is about enough. After eyeliner, she does mascara. I'm using the CoverGirl Exhibitionist Mascara. I've really been liking this. It's actually almost out, but I think I'm going to repurchase it. Whatever mascara she uses, it doesn't look like it's intended to give you big, long, bold lashes. It's more of the natural looking mascara, so I'm going to try to not go too wild with mine. But I can definitely understand being in politics, not wanting to have these giant lashes, especially if you wear glasses. I'm definitely looking cakey around the area that I had to apply a ton of products, <laughs> so I won't be doing that again in the future. The order of things she does is much different than how I do it because after mascara she adds shimmer to her eyelids. She mentions that some days she goes bare face, sometimes she does very very light makeup and she, if she has more time she will add on things so I think that's probably why she does this in this order. It's like if she has more time she will add the shimmery eyeshadow. I'm using this, it was from Ipsy, it's the Naked Cosmetics Pressed Pigments Eyeshadow in Mother Nature. And she just takes some on her finger and pats it on her eyelid. It's not like a super bold glittery shadow that she's using. It's just like a light shimmer. So this one is my best attempt at that. It looks like she also kind of places it in the inner corner of her eye. So I'm going to take a little bit and do that as well. The next thing is also out of the typical order I do. She then does bronzer. I'm using the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. I really like this bronzer. It's when I want to look definitely a little bit more warm and sun-kissed. I have a lot of bronzers that are more cool toned, but I do like this sometimes. Obviously, I've hit pan, so I've used it enough. This will really help to warm up my face because I'm looking very pale today. Okay, I think that helped me look a lot better, more alive. The final and most iconic step is the red lip. The red lip she uses is the Stila, I think it's like stay all day liquid lipstick. I don't have a red liquid lipstick. I I love the look of red lipstick, but I whenever I've tried to wear it, I just do not feel confident enough. I feel like I'm doing too much. Typically with a liquid lipstick, you don't need to use a lip liner because the brush head is kind of pointed a bit so that you can better, like, make sure that you don't go outside of your lips. 
since I'm not using a liquid lip, I am going to use a lip liner because I am very concerned about it going everywhere. This is the Essence Soft Contouring Lip Liner in 04 So Love Sick. She doesn't overline her lips either, which I don't enjoy doing, so I'm happy about that. Okay, now that we have them lined, I'm going to be using the NARS Velvet Matte Lip Pencil in Cruella. Yeah, she definitely pulls it off a lot better than I can. That is all for the makeup. I think I'm going to pull my hair in a low pony like she does because my hair is green. So if I have it down, I feel like that just looks kind of weird. We have that. And now I'm going to go put on my best AOC outfit I can find. Her blazers are a lot cooler than mine. I only have black blazers. But here we have the final look. I might actually put my hair on a low bun. So when I was looking up pictures of her blazers, I did see some when she just had like a low bun instead of a low pony. Yes, okay. And we have my version of Congresswoman Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez. I have to say, looking in the viewfinder of the camera, I love the red lipstick, but then when I look in the mirror, that like self-consciousness comes back. <laughs> so I don't know if I'm ready to wear it outside in the real world yet, but it definitely is great on her. That completes today's video. I hope you enjoyed watching this, no matter your political or social views. Make sure to give this video a like, subscribe to my channel if you wanna see more videos kind of like this. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for your support and I will hopefully see you in my next video.